So boys, let us start today's drawing, which is an oblique drawing. Um, let us make the border first. I am going to take 10 millimeter from here and 10 millimeter from here and finally, going to mark 10, they mark the 10 millimeter from here. Okay. Okay. First of all, I need to study the drawing. I can see that the length is 80 and the height is 40. So, let us do that first length is 40 and height uh, length is 80 height is 40. So, 80 40 we need to do. Uh, let me take let us say from 10 from 10 I am going to take 80 any 8 centimeter. So, 10 to 18 ok and in here I need to add 4 right. So, in here, I am going to make a line, I am going to measure with my ruler 4 centimeter, this is my 4 centimeter. I can erase the extra line straight away, extra line ok. So, I got my 40 and 80 and I can see that there is another line here which is 35 millimeter and I can see that there is a step here of 5 millimeter. So, this is going to be 35. So, let me mark that or I can go it in other way 35. So, I am going to place my t square here and I am going to make the line which should be 35. So, I am going to put a point at 35. So, I got it. I am going to extend this line only up to here ok and I am going to extend this line also little bit and I need to find out the length of this the length of this is you need to calculate total length is going to be 80 minus 50 is equal to 30 half of 30 is 15 it is going to be 15. So, you need to mark only 15 from here which is at this point ok. At that point I am going to use the set square and I make a line. This is my point number 15 ok. So, I remove all the extra lines. So, my outline is ready. Now, you can see that I have a center line here and a center line here. A center line is about 20 millimeter which is 2 centimeter and this is in the middle, this is in the middle 40. So, I need to mark a 4 centimeter from here, 4 centimeter and I need to mark 2 centimeter from here, just like this 2 centimeter. Okay. So, I am going to make a center line as I told a big dash, small dash, big, small, big, small, big line, small line, big line, small line, big line, small line, big. The same way I have to mark here as well big dash, small dash, big, small, big, small, big. Okay. Now, I got two more center line which is 25 millimeter to left and 25 millimeter to right. Any 2.5 centimeter right, 2.5 centimeter left. So, I may take 2.5 here and I will mark at 0 and I will mark at 5. These are my two lines. So I am going to mark center line here as well and I am going to mark center line here as well. Ok, so it is done. So, when I got two three circles diameter 20, diameter 10 and diameter 10. So, I am going to take the circle template and look for diameter 20 
lie found 20. I'm going to place it here. I'm going to place it here and I'll make diameter 20 circle. Now I need diameter 10 circle which I found here diameter 10. So I'm going to mark diameter 10 here as well as here. Okay. Now, okay, now you can see that I have to show the thickness that is the main point of doing this oblique and this angle is 45 degree and to a length of 30, 30 degree. So, I need to take the 45 degree angle set square. I am going to keep my t square here. I am going to take my set square. Okay. Now, I need to set it in an, an angle of 45 degree. Okay. So, I am going to keep it. I just project this line 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, I need to measure what is the length. The length is 30, yani 3 centimeter. So, I am going to just mark 3 centimeter from here. This is my 3 centimeter. Done. I am going to place it here. I am going to mark a vertical line to join this. And I am going to ma mark a horizontal line and join this. I am going to mark another vertical line to join this and finally, I am going to take t square and make a vertical line. It's over. Now, you can get rid of the extra lines wherever by using an eraser. You can get rid of this extra lines that is why I always use thin lines. So, whenever I want to erase it's it's going to be easy for me. Okay. Once I done making you know okay, then you can use the roller and make all the line thick. Just use the roller and the pencil and you can make all the line thick. Whenever you make a oh, drawing, always use thin line. Once you finish the drawing and you feel that everything is okay and you don't need to erase it, you can then sharpen or darken the lines using roller and pencil. Now, what is remaining? We need to do all the dimensions. Can you see all this dimensioning we need to show? So, the same way you have to show the dimensioning. The way it is been shown here, you have to show all the dimension. Dimensioning always use thin line, thin line here, thin line here, thin line here, thin line here in line here. Do you see? Now, you can use this and join this one, join this two and join this three. Okay. Now, you have to make the arrow head. Oh, there is a line missing. It need to be a little more extended. I am going to extend this this need to be a little more extended. I am going to extend this. Okay. Now, you need to make the arrow to make the arrow and write 25.0. You have to make the arrow 
make the arrow head right 50.0 make another arrow head here another arrow head here and make it 80.0 similarly you are going to continue this on the other side a thin line here, a thin line here, a thin line here, a thin line here and you are going to join this, you are going to join this and finally you are going to join this. Okay. Now the same way you can show the arrow head here. arrow head arrow head here and final arrow head here is going to be 40.0 35.0 and 20.0 and now what's remaining we have another dimension here we are going to keep it like this you can extend this and make a line here and make the arrow like this like this I'm going to make it as 30.0 right and finally one more dimension here and here bring it here and you make the arrow here arrow here make it 40.0 now what is remaining 1 2 3 3 circles are remaining so you make 1 here 2 here and yeah that's two twos are enough we make a line here we make a line here we show arrow head here we show another arrow head here. We will write diameter 20.0. We will write diameter 10.0 into two numbers. Any we have two numbers. One is this and another is this. So I hope it is clear to you. Okay. If you got any doubt, you can send me an email or put it as a comment under this video. I will try to answer you back.